What's going on, Pathways Church? I'm Jake Collins, your middle school pastor, and I'm excited to join you this week on Daily Dose. All this week, we're looking at the greatness of Jesus as described in the book of Hebrews. So far this week, we've seen that God spoke in a greater way through Jesus than any of the prophets, and that Jesus has received a name that is above every other name. Today, let's jump ahead to Hebrews 3. In verses 2 through 4, we read, He was faithful to the one who appointed him, just as Moses was faithful in all God's house. Jesus has been found worthy of greater honor than Moses, just as the builder of a house has greater honor than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. One way that we honor individuals in our culture is by naming things like streets or buildings after them. Every once in a while, a name will get replaced by a new one that is deemed worthy of that honor. For example, one of my favorite TV shows of all time is The Wonder Years. In the pilot episode of that show, Kevin's junior high school is in the process of being renamed to Robert F. Kennedy Junior High School. In our culture, any sort of honor ranking might be perceived as a form of dishonor. Notice, though, that the author of Hebrews does not dishonor Moses. Moses served a unique role for a unique time in the story of Scripture. He took on a position that was a combination of prophet, priest, and king, a hybrid that would not be seen again in the Old Testament. But even he was limited. Why was he limited? Because he wasn't Jesus. Jesus deserves a place of honor in our lives that exceeds that of anyone else. There are many people in our journeys that deserve honor, but we are called to honor Jesus in a greater way. That's all for today. Join me back here tomorrow for another Daily Dose.